I can't imagine any other filmmaker being able to create this from top to bottom with so much detail and um, bring you so into that, that world, you know, to create so many stories at once, which is one of the things I admire about Jim. Jim, the storyteller, doing this sort of, you know, coming of age movie that was also a great love story that was also, and perhaps most importantly, the story of these two worlds colliding. I remember having lunch with Jim and uh, he started to talk about this kind of forest girl who um, could communicate with, with the animals and with the plants, um, who had a special gift of connection with living things, um, and uh, who had perhaps eventually a, a, a strong connection with Ewa. Um, and I, I loved the idea of this character. Um, and then he said, well, and she's going to be about 14. And uh, I said, oh. <laughs> and uh, he said, and you and I know how immature you are. So I think you can handle this. I have had to work completely differently than I ever have before because you do have to strip away <laughs> all of that, you know, Sigourney Weaver, whoever that is. Um, and, uh, and it's been a kind of an amazing experience to go back in time and, and be with that person every day. And um, uh, it's been uh, a, a quite an incredible year. I remember when Jim said, he said, oh yeah, 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 you're going to have to hold your breath for about three or four minutes. And I said, Jim, I can't hold my breath for 30 seconds. And he said, you'll be able to. And I thought, oh, this is just Jim. <laughs> and, um, and yet at the first lesson that Kirk gave us, uh, I held my breath for a minute and a half. And I thought, oh, wow, what is this? And it just shows you how little we know about our systems and what they can do. Zoe and I had a lot of fun because, um, you know, she would say, you know, you, you really need to, as the Navi woman, you need to, you know, conduct yourself like this. And, you know, uh, she'd say to my brothers, take care of Kiri. And I'd be like, what? No one has to take care of me, you know, and I'd be like, just like, you know, just like you would be. And um, I'd stomp around instead of being a graceful Navi. And, you know, it's all just kind of, you know, we're actors, so it just all kind of tumbles out. You, you're not planning any of this stuff. Um, but we had some good laughs about that. Um, and, of course, Zoe and Sam have such little children, and they're used to sweet children, you know, and suddenly they have these teenagers who are so moody and, and uh, unpredictable.